let me teach you how to upload a product to your Teachers Pay Teacher store. After we've created our resource in Canva, we are going to download it by clicking share at the top right and then selecting the file type as a PDF. Depending on what type of resource you create, this can vary. However, we created a PDF, so we will download it as that. Make sure you go to the file type, and then I click PDF print, which is best for printing, and then click download. And also make sure that all of the pages are selected. So once we have our document downloaded, I recommend putting it into a folder. That way it'll be easier for you to locate it once you're uploading it on the Teachers Pay Teachers website. And now let's download our thumbnails. Thumbnails should be downloaded as a PNG. And again, make sure all of the pages are selected. And then you can go ahead and organize that and drop it into the folder where you have your TPT products. Next, go to your TPT store. So we're gonna go to our little market shop at the top and click add a product. And you'll see here that there are a variety of types of products you can upload. First you have your digital download, then you have a video, then you have Google Drive, Easel, and then a bundle of resources. We're gonna click digital resource, or sorry, I don't remember what I said, but digital download. Uh, so then we're gonna just fill in all of the templates that they have for us, including the title and the description and all that good stuff. So for the title, just make sure you include what it, the resource is. You can uh, also check out um, keywords that are specific to your grade level or that specific activity, but I would say just make a title that is applicable to your resource and you should be fine. And then we're gonna go to our file, our folder that has our products and click on the PDF and download it there. Now we didn't do our product previews in this video. However, we did do our thumbnails. So let's go ahead and see what the thumbnails would look like when they're automatically generated by Teachers Pay Teachers. They're not too bad at all actually and if you wanted to just use those you could however we did create a little bit more of a creative thumbnail so we're going to go ahead and upload ours here so it's a little bit easier to see and it is scaled to a square so it fills up all of that space and there's not any extra space as opposed to the pre-made teachers pay teachers thumbnails that they do have on there so once we have our thumbnails here then we are going to add our description so for this part, we're gonna actually go to ChatGPT to help us out because why work harder when you can work smarter? And AI is just a tool that can be used to help you create resources faster. So I'm just prompting ChatGPT to help me out with creating a description. And then I put in what my product is and I ask it to help me give ideas on how teachers can use it in the classroom. And I know that was fast. I'm kind of just speeding through it because this will be applicable to your resource. So whatever you want to put in there, it will create a description for you. So I always recommend just obviously going through what ChatGPT presented to you and then making it your own and taking out things that you don't need and adding things that you want to include in there. For our price, this is definitely up to you. If you don't know how to price your products, take a look at what other people are charging and also just take a look at yourself and how much you want to be paid for this product. And I always consider like how much would I pay for this product? That's how I would price it. Um, and then just continue to fill out the rest of the categories, um, including grade level. And I always click homeschool as well because these products can definitely be used as a homeschool resource and then fill in the subject areas. For the subject area and resource type, these are, they have three um, tabs that you can select and then include the common core state standards. So this is a really great tool because when teachers are searching for resources to support whatever common core standard that they're using in their classroom, then your product may pop up because you have selected that as, um, part of your resource. So these are just really great tools that can help your product show up in the search engine um, on Teachers Pay Teachers. 
So I added my kindergarten writing standards. And then because I did select multiple grades, I'm also going to go to first grade and select a couple of those. And you could also do second grade as well, but I just did kindergarten and first grade. So once we have our Common Core State Standards selected, we'll go to Done, and then add in the number of pages. Ours doesn't have an answer key, and teaching duration, we don't need that. So for the copyright section, um, you either have, you have the section that says, I attest that this product I'm about to post is an original art, is an original work, and it does not infringe upon the intellectual property rights of others. Then you also have the other one that says, I am using copyrighted materials, but I have the right to use it. And that's what we do have the right to use from the Canva elements that we use for our product. So now we have our product listed and we're going to go to my store and check it out. It does take maybe like a couple minutes to upload. When you go to most recent, it will pop up, but give it a maybe a couple minutes to show there. And that's how it looks. We can check it out by clicking on it. And then if you wanted to preview it, you can download it as well. But that is a very simple way to upload your resource to Teachers Pay Teachers. I hope this was helpful. And if you have any questions, then please let me know.